Data suggests that alien life elsewhere in the universe is likely, but further life in just our local system of planets, the solar system, is forever a point of debate. Nevertheless, there is recent research to suggest that Earth isn't the only place around where something's happening. This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, is there alien life in the solar system? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. We've asked it once, we'll ask it a thousand times. Where are all the aliens? Scientists still haven't found definitive proof of life existing today or ever on another planet. Due to the sheer number of other planets in the universe, however, the multi-trillions of other worlds that are out there, many believe there must be ET life to discover. The positive news for anyone hoping to find aliens soon is that science has spectacularly advanced in recent years to better understand the planets of the solar system and the exoplanets beyond the Oort cloud. And scientists are now a dab hand at identifying the ones most likely to at least be habitable. In 2021, for example, astronomers were able to create an all-new category of exoplanet called Haitian Worlds that are deemed especially noteworthy thanks to the large amounts of water and hydrogen in their atmospheres. Meanwhile, and again in 2021, another research team found evidence for the first time of specific, complex, carbon-bearing molecules, some of the potential building blocks for life, scattered actually in space. Now more than ever, we're on the aliens' trails. But really, our immediate solar system remains the first place we should be searching. And there are a number of especially interesting planets and moons here, including the likes of Mars, the Jovian moon Europa, and the Saturnian moon Enceladus. These all rank quite highly for their possibility of harboring simple life at least, because they all show a combination of variously strong signifiers, such as the presence of liquid water, an abundance of organic materials, and or relatively mild temperatures. On the flip side, we can also rank the nearby places where life is most unlikely to survive. Our own moon and the planet Mercury, for instance, both contain close to no atmosphere and host extreme temperatures, meaning that it would be much more of a surprise if life turned up there. And so, to that poster planet of alien study for more than 100 years, Mars. Ever since the French astronomer Étienne Trouvelot theorized in the 1880s that the seasonal changes on the Martian surface could be due to vegetation there, scientists have debated the possible presence of life. We've advanced so much since then that we're now able to send mechanical rovers to the Red Planet to directly explore and search for living things, although for the most part we've merely uncovered just how inhospitable Mars may be. However, there is fresh research to suggest that we might have just been looking in the wrong places. The Martian surface is certainly hostile for organic life, but underground on Mars is different. The biggest question regarding potential underground life on Mars has long been whether it could exist in a completely independent ecosystem, whether it could be wholly non-reliant on any materials on the planet's surface. That way, it could stand more of a chance. In 2021, to better understand this, the geobiologist Matthew Selensky and his team studied lava caves here on Earth. Since volcanism is a common feature of terrestrial planets, most others will also have lava caves like Earth's or something similar. And Selensky's team found that bacteria is able to survive in these caves with no help from the surface for food. By dissolving chemicals in the minerals around them, a process called lithoautotrophy. Lava cave bacteria is able to build the molecules they need to survive via the carbon they harvest in the walls. It's a lonely existence, sure, but an effective one. The study then suggests that underground life could exist in an independent underground ecosystem on Mars as well, no matter the fact that the surface above is terrible for life. More broadly still, it proves that surface-level observations of any planet can likely never prove that the planet is barren. There could still be so much more happening below. Moving to Jupiter's moon Europa, and another object long deemed to be habitable, but now with more reasons to believe. New research released in 2022 by the geophysicist Riley Kohlberg and his team hones in on the suspected ocean of liquid water beneath Europa's ice sheet. It had been assumed that this ocean was probably miles below the ice, but the new study shows that it might not be quite so deep. If true, this could be an important factor for life there, 
in almost the opposite way that life in the lava caves of Mars could still thrive. Now being closer to the surface is a good thing. It potentially allows for Europa's water to be exposed to interesting molecules and chemicals from space. Kohlberg and his team were able to make this discovery by noticing a strange pattern on Europa's ice sheet, something called a double ridge formation. The researchers recognized that the same feature is present on Earth in Greenland's ice sheet. In Greenland's ice, we know that those characteristic double ridges are only formed in a specific way, when the water from the depths is brought to the surface and refrozen. So if this is also how they're created on Europa, which seems likely, then it not only means that there's a large abundance of water available, but also that water in the depths is being regularly cycled back to the surface. Such complex processes really can help to facilitate the development of life, reconfirming Europa as a primary case study. But finally, to Saturn, and another moon that's received a massive amount of recent interest in the search for alien life, Enceladus. Since at least the Cassini spacecraft mission, which flew directly through plumes of water that had erupted from the surface of Enceladus, it's been all eyes here hoping to find something further. Scientists have analyzed in detail the data from those plumes sent back by Cassini before its mission end. Notably, the early studies found that the water contained almost all the basic requirements for life, but that there was one thing holding it back, phosphorus. On Earth, phosphorus is vital because it creates phosphates, which are essential for allowing life forms to build DNA, RNA, cell membranes, and other necessary bits of equipment for life. The fact that it had seemed to be absent from Enceladus then was a problem. However, and again in 2022, new research completed by the geochemist Christopher Glein and his team unveiled evidence that phosphorus actually does exist in the water on Enceladus. The study took data from Cassini and used it to build a model for how the minerals present in the plumes should dissolve, and it ultimately showed that Enceladus as a whole should be rich in phosphorus, even if it appeared not to be at first. In fact, the updated model predicts that it's almost inevitable that phosphorus is on the moon and could even be more abundant there than it is on Earth. Glein said of the research that it means we can be, quote, more confident than before that the ocean of Enceladus is habitable, end quote. So what's your verdict? On Mars, Europa, and Enceladus, could we be closer than ever to proof of aliens? Any discovery of other life in the solar system would potentially be the most significant discovery in all of human history. It would provide a definitive answer to that huge fundamental question, are we alone? And would open our eyes to all new possibilities within our local region, our immediate galaxy, and the wider universe. For now, we have all the tools in place. There's the James Webb Space Telescope, which can look with unparalleled precision at exoplanets far, far away, even identifying key gases within their atmospheres as potential signs of biological life. There are also various near-future missions planned by NASA and others to study our closest neighbors, including Mars, Europa, and Venus. So, although we haven't found alien life just yet, it may only be a matter of time before we do. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.